welcome to episode two. Um, I didn't record a very good intro, so I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this one on top. Um, but it, as you'll see in future, uh, we just start off for day two. So hope you enjoy. Uh, to start the day, um, I would come out and I would start watering your crops. I tend to do this first thing in the morning just because A, this is when I have all of my energy. See, my energy is over here. Um, and as you water your crops, you're going to lose it. And when you run out of energy, you cannot do anything else during the day, so you might as well do the thing that it's made for, which is farming. Because <laughs> Stardew Valley is basically all about farming. Um, check your mailbox sometimes they'll have little interesting things. Hello there, just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I've got something for you. Willie. So this will be exciting. We'll get to go meet a new person. Um, okay, so 7 a.m. There's not a whole lot of stores open and there's not a whole lot of people out. So it's always like a good thing to try to come and maybe do some clearing of your land. Um, so these like, these wood locks, um, they just kind of stay there and until you break them <laughs> and it's always good to have lots of wood um, so you can make another chest if you need it or you can find other crafting recipes um, and then the fiber will also come in handy eventually um, so I don't recommend like selling it or anything um, but you can also find mixed seeds and mixed seeds will give you basically a random crop. Um, you have to plant it to find out what it will become, um, but eventually we'll get that a try and I'll show you. Um, I'm kind of picky about where I want to place my crops, so I tend to not plant the mixed seeds. <laughs> um, but if I do plant them, I'll go to like a different little area or a different region of the farm and till it and then just make kind of a little basically mixed seed area and it's like it's good to do because you get you can get seeds basically for free and um as you saw there's different prices to for different seeds and so it's kind of nice to maybe you know not have to pay 80 for a seed <laughs> So, for the most part, all of this grass that's around here, I'm probably going to leave it um, and just do a little bit of um, the clear clearing of this. Because, um, as I said, grass is quite handy later on in the game. Um, not really much use for it right now. Um, but it doesn't grow very fast, so it's always good to try to keep it around if especially if you're not like using that land right there because what's it gonna hurt <laughs> all right so it's 10 10 so let's go into town and do some more meeting of people oh we should probably clear inventory before we do that um add to existing stacks see right now i have 11 mixed seeds so that's pretty good um I think later on there's actually a new recipe that you can use with mixed seeds to make something. Um, so if you don't want to just randomly get a crop, you can do that. Because um, I, I don't know, like I said, picky, but you don't. You can do wherever you want. Um, so like if I want it, I can put them down here. But I probably won't. I'll probably just let these crops grow and just go do some more exploring. Um, also, when you get a new journal entry, it's gonna basically pop. Uh, so, to the beach. Someone named Willie invited you to visit the beach south of town. He says he has something to give you. So for this quest, you have to visit the beach um, before 5 p.m. Because after 5 p.m., the, uh, the, like, the game won't trigger what it's supposed to. Um, so, I'll probably just go there first so I don't forget. Um, and that way I can also meet, I can meet Millie. Wiggly worms! And wiggly worms, they can give you a random sort of thing. So last time it gave me a book. This time I got clay. And clay is quite useful for crafting and stuff. Um, 
All right, let me check the board. No help on it. That's bad. Um, if you talk to the people daily, they will like it helps increase your um, your friendship level with them. Um, so if you look, give me one second. So Marnie, she's the livestock and animal person, so when you want to get animals later on, um, she's the person you're going to go buy from. But before you can buy an animal, you of course have to build them a place to stay. Um, so that will be a thing that you have to go to Robin first to get a structure built. And then once it's built, you can get an animal. So if you go to social, this is where you can see your different people you've already met. Um, these are your hearts, so this is your, basically your friendship level. This little box here means you've talked to them today. Um, it's going to be crossed off or it's not going to be crossed off, depending on if you've talked to them. Um, this is the presents, so if you give someone a present, it will increase or decrease their heart, depending on if they like it or not. Um, the sad thing about this is you can only give two presents in one week. So like the Monday to Sunday, you can only give two to one person. So just be careful. Um, Cause if there's like someone's birthday coming up, you don't nec you can't necessarily give them one. So it's just good to be an eye out. This is Haley. She's one of my favorite character. She's uh, definitely a blonde, but that's okay. <laughs> Yeah, she's not the best character, in my opinion. She's a little, uh, a little blunt and says kind of some rude things to you sometimes, but, I mean, when you eventually friend her, it's not that bad. So this is what I was talking about. This is a cutscene. Um, so it's kind of like the introduction cutscene, but this one is with Mr. Willie. Ahoy there, miss! I heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet ya. Ah, I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. Man, I don't know how you do a month on the salty seas. I would not be fun. <laughs> I would be probably, yeah, not, nope. I'm a land girl. I mean, I like my ocean occasionally, but not a month. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough money to buy enough money to buy me a new rod. Here, I want you to have my old fishing rod. We can go fishing now. It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive. And hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. Fishing rod. So it's a bamboo pole. It's basically the most basic fishing rod. Um, they do make another fishing rod that you can get from Willy. It's called the training rod. So if you find you're having a difficult time with the fishing rod, um, you can always buy that. Um, and you can it makes it a little bit easier for fishing. So uh, it's up to you if you want to do it. So of course it costs gold and I feel like there's other important things that you want and other than <laughs> That. But of course, if you haven't struggled with fish fishing, um, I would recommend going for it because fishing can produce a lot of good money for the first beginning part when you, while you wait for your crops to grow. There's good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. Also, buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. <laughs> That's what my old pappy used to say anyway. Boop. All done. So this is his store. You can go in. And he's just used it behind the counter. Um, you can buy stuff. You can get like soup this is the training fishing rod oh it's not that much i thought it was more um but it, yes it says it makes it all easier uh, but you can only catch basic fish so it's not you, it's you don't get a whole bunch of fish so you definitely need the bamboo pole once you get used to the mechanisms to catch some of the higher upgraded fish <laughs> 
So since it's day two and I'm already at the ocean, I might as well go ahead and fish. So to fish, you're going to throw your pole out and press the left click. Um, and you're just going to wait until you see that. Once you see that, you're basically going to left click. Try to click as fast as you can so that way when, when you see the information, um, so that way you can catch the fish, because if you wait too long, it's going to disappear. Um, once you catch it, as it's all on the side, um, you're going to like left click. Um, I recommend don't hold the left click, but just gently tap it. You're going to want to keep the little green bar behind the fish symbol. Um, and once you get it all the way up to the top or fully loaded, um, you catch the fish. Um, so do some more fishing. Fishing's pretty peaceful. I do like the fishing. It's a good little way of making income too, especially when you first start. And just waiting for the crops to grow because they don't grow overnight. <laughs> The little sidebar, um, and you're gonna want to make sure it's like going up, um, and that's how you basically catch the fish. Um, if it goes back down, then you're losing the catch. Um, but yeah, so it's kind of just just a little like that. I also recommend picking up the she shells and stuff because um, if you get multiple, you can sell them. And they do they do pretty good for making you a little bit of profit. Um, but again, as I said, I would recommend it keeping at least one, um, because later on in the game you might need it, but it depends. It depends on, A, depends on if you scrambled some of the, uh, scrambled the, uh, the rewards and stuff, basically. Which I did, so I don't know exactly what I need, um, so I just like to keep one of everything. Plus, if you haven't played before, you don't know what you need anyway, but it's a good habit. <laughs> Especially if, like, later on you get a crafting recipe and you're like, oh, I need this. Well, I don't have that. And you have to wait a few days sometimes to get them the item, and you're just... If you're anything like me, you're also impatient. <laughs> Um, so if you're gonna go fishing for the day, um, which is a pretty lucky day, so I'll probably go do some more fishing. Um, I would recommend you put up uh, a bunch of your tools because you're not necessarily gonna need them. Um, and if you use them, you're gonna use energy and like, you only have so much space, so you might as well um, use it if you can or move. Use your chests and stuff. Um, I always like to keep my scythe and my hoe on me, just in case I come across any of, any of the little wiggly worms and scythe in case I get kind of stuck and I need to clear out some of the, uh, the, the I need to clear out some of the fiber. So it's always a good habit if you are fairly close to the NPCs to just go ahead and talk to them. Um, just because the, they, they also will give you a little tip every now and then and it's how you increase your friendship. So. Let's go fish in the lake. So this up here is technically the mountain lake. Um, different areas give you different fish, so you'll want to fish in different locations, of course. So I'm just gonna stay here and do some fishing, um, and I guess I'll come back when my inventory is full and we can continue maybe going to meet some more people if we can, or just doing some more exploring a little bit. Yep, but as soon as I finish catching this fish... Yeah, some of the fish are a little more difficult to catch than others, so. But just kind of finding the fine tuning of it, of course. So. 
Woo woo. All right, so um, I wasn't able to show it, but while you're fishing, sometimes you get a little chest that will appear somewhere in the bar where your fish is. And if you manage to hold onto the fish and like put the little bar behind the chest, um, you can get an extra reward with your fish. Um, so that was just kind of the extra reward. So there's some bait, which I can't use on this fishing pole because it's a very basic fishing pole. But um, later on, it comes in quite useful for another fishing pole. Or also, there's crab pots. So, yep. But I'm gonna keep fishing. Um, I'll probably keep some of my fish here, but doing pretty good. So, just figured I'd try to come back and show you that I got a little extra with my fish kind of fun. Um, it's not the easiest thing all the time, especially if you're trying, because you're trying to hold onto the fish and try to get the, the little box or champion, because if you don't catch the fish, you don't get the prize anyway, but just gotta be wary. Sometimes it might pop up and you're like, oh, I can get an extra thing with my fish, and extra things are always nice, especially if you can get minerals or sometimes you get lost books. <laughs> so. Just fun. There's the chest. Oh, oh, ah! All right. So basically, as you saw, you have to try to keep the fish on the line and get the chest at the same time, which is not always the easiest thing to do. But if you can do it, it's quite rewarding. I'll pause our fishing and come talk to Sebastian. Because he's one of our people that we haven't met yet. He's not the biggest fan of Pelican in town, but I mean, I'm sure he has his reasons. So my inventory is not quite full yet, but I figured it's getting kind of late and the sun's going down, so I might as well go and see if I can find any other people. Like at the salon. Um, a lot of times when I'm like first starting, I will come down and look. Um, these little questions mean you haven't met them yet, but it will give you kind of what their character or NPC looks like, so it makes it a little bit easier. Um, because I'm I'm quite used to the game, I do know technically their name and I know where they tend to be found um, so I'm just gonna go and find them <laughs> um, no one can meet them we go in here oh it's locked oh because it's eight yes of course um, so a lot of the places they'll become locked after a certain amount of time like the stores um, and like different homes and stuff um, so you can't barge into the homes, um, which is kind of nice. Um, fortunately, people can barge into your home at any time that they want. <laughs> um, but, ah, this is the new area we haven't been yet. So if you can see, these are the cows. This is where Mernie lives. Um, she lives in there, and if you go in there, you can purchase stuff. Um, this is also where you can find, um, some extra stone and wood and uh, of your fiber. Now if you come down here, this is my favorite little foraging area, you can find sometimes these. And these are the spring onions. 
<sighs> okay, I'm going to, this is driftwood. I got it while fishing. Um, it's just a piece of trash basically, so I'm gonna put it in the trash. Um, you know, don't litter. It's probably a good thing. Plus, it's not worth anything, um, so might as well just leave it. Um, so as you see, sometimes it will say inventory is full. Um, so that means that the spring onion that I'm trying to pick is a little bit higher level. As you can see, um, the chub here, it has a silver star, and this one doesn't have a silver star. And unfortunately, they take up two different spaces, because this one is worth a little more than this one. It will also, it shows you your energy and health that you can get if you eat it. Um, so it will be 25 health or 20, or plus 25 energy and 11 health, excuse me. Um, but if you get a star chub, it will be 35 energy and 15 health. So like if you're running low on energy and you need a little bit of pick me up so you can finish doing whatever you need during the day or get home, um, you can munch on your fish or you can munch on the onions, just depends on what you got. So it's already 10, so I'm gonna continue heading back and my inventory is full again. So I will go empty my inventory, do some more clearing if I can. Um, you'll notice a lot that in the beginning you have to be fairly close to make sure you pick up items. Um, it's not, the items don't technically despawn, except for the, um, sometimes the trash items will despawn, um, but they don't, pretty much don't. Um, or in the mine, basically, when you get to the mine, the mine changes up quite frequently, um, so you won't, if you leave something, you may not get it back. <laughs> um, so here I'm just keeping some of the items that I have. Um, this little button on the side, organize, it will basically organize your your chest or your inventory. There's another option. Um, and you can, hold on, let me see. If you go into your inventory, there's also an organize button here. You can organize, put stuff in different tools in different areas. Um, it's helpful sometimes but not all the time especially since sometimes it doesn't um organize in the way you want it to um but it's still i it's still a nice button so very helpful especially when you're organizing your chests and you're not sure if you have two of one item in an area but you don't technically do but anyway this is um where i'm gonna go to sleep for the night um when you go to sleep, it's gonna save. Um, because I was fishing, I leveled up my fishing, so now I am level one fishing, which before I was basically level zero. <laughs> um, this increases my fishing rod proficiency. Um, as you level it up, you get better at fishing, basically. Um, level up, level one foraging. So as you go around and you collect the different items, the different foraging items, like the onions and the other like flowers and other, like the leak, um, you can level up your foraging. Um, and this gives me a plus one axe proficiency, so I can chop a little faster, basically. It also unlocks new crafting recipes, so I can make wild seeds and a field snack. Um, this will come in handy if you need some energy while you're doing some farming, or you're chopping some trees on your land. You can get a little bit of energy buff if you don't necessarily want to go fishing to get food or something. So. Day two, spring, year one. All right, see, this is a different screen. This will come up when you put items in the box. You can click on the little plus here and it will show you what you sold. So I sold a clam and it will show you how much you sold it for. Um, and then you can go here. Uh, and as you can see, the starch to the silver star sells for a little bit more than just the regular chub. Um, and so that just kind of gives you an idea of how much certain fish are worth, um, and you can base it off that and help you understand, like, how much you're making, so. And then this will go into your total on the other one. Um, once you click OK, you have to click OK, make sure you click OK, um, it will save your progress. So I'm gonna end off the video, um, thanks for watching, and we'll start off the next episode with day three. Thank you!